Hey everyone, today we're talking about linear equations with fractions. We'll do six problems together, which are the ones shown here on the screen. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and comment below for any other topics you want me to cover. Let's get started. When you see a linear equation with fractions, let's first look at how many fractions there are. For this equation, we're starting off easy because it actually only has one fraction, so we don't have to go through the trouble of finding the LCD, which I'll explain later. If your equation only has one fraction, we can just treat it like any other linear equation, where we want to isolate all of the x's on one side of the equal sign and all of the numbers on the other. Since my x is already on the left, I want all of my numbers on the right. In order to get rid of the plus 3, we need to do the opposite and subtract 3. Let's remember to do it to both sides, and when we put it all together, we'll get that x over 8, 3 minus 3 equals 0, so that cancels out, and 2 minus 3 equals negative 1, so we have x over 8 equals negative 1. In order to fully isolate x, we need to get rid of the 8. Since it's x divided by 8, we need to do the opposite and multiply by 8. Let's do it to both sides. On the left, the 8's cancel, so we're just left with x. And on the right, we have negative 1 times 8, which equals negative 8. So our answer is actually x equals negative 8. For equations like this, it's always good to check your answer. So we can plug in negative 8 for x in the original equation. Negative 8 divided by 8 plus 3 equals 2. Negative 1 plus 3 equals 2, and 2 equals 2, so we know we have the right answer. This one's a little trickier, and now we see that we have two fractions, and sometimes you're just not really sure where to start. When you have two or more fractions, it's worth finding the least common denominator, or also called the lowest common denominator, which is the first tip I have here on the left. The LCD is the smallest multiple that the denominators have in common. And multiplying the equation by the LCD, if you do it right, gets rid of all of the fractions. Here, you can actually get the LCD by just multiplying the numbers. So here we have our LCD, which is 6. Looking at the next step, let's multiply both sides of the equation by 6. The entire point of the step is to get rid of the fractions. On the left side, we need to distribute the 6. 6 times x divided by 3 equals 2x. And distributing 6 times negative 3 equals 18. On the right side, 6 times x divided by 2 equals 3x. Now we've reached step 3, which is just to solve the equation. Now I just want to get all of my x's on one side and all of my numbers on the other. So since all of my numbers are already on the left, I want to get all of my x's on the right. In order to get rid of the positive 2x, I want to do the opposite and subtract 2x. Let's always remember to do it to both sides. 2x minus 2x cancels out. Let's bring down the negative 18 and 3x minus 2x equals x. So this is our answer. Let's plug it back in and ultimately we get that negative 9 equals negative 9. So we know we have the right answer. We've upped our game to three fractions now, but no worries, in order to get rid of the fractions, let's first just find our LCD. We could just multiply all three numbers, but there's another way to do it so that you don't end up with super big numbers. You can actually start by listing a couple multiples of each number. So for three, we have three, six, nine, 12, 15. For two, we have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. And for 4, we have 4, 8, 12. So you'll notice that the lowest common multiple that all of these numbers have in common is 12. This is our LCD. Once you're more familiar, you might be able to do this in your head also. You could also do this tree method that I won't really talk about here, but use whatever method you want to find the LCD. 
Once you found it, let's do step number two, which is multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD, which is 12. On the left side, you have to distribute the 12. So 12 times x over 3 equals 4x, and 12 times negative x over 2 equals negative 6x. On the right side, you have 12 times 1 over 4, which is 3. So here we just have a normal linear equation, and we can move on to step number three, which is just to solve the equation. All of my x's are already on one side, and all of my numbers are on the other side, so let's just simplify the left side. 4 minus 6x equals negative 2. Let's just bring down the 3. And in order to fully isolate x, we need to get rid of the negative 2. Since it's negative 2 times x, we need to do the opposite and divide by negative 2. Let's do it to both sides so we get that x equals negative 3 over 2, which is our final answer. In terms of checking my answer, I can tell that this is already going to get confusing with all the fractions. So to check my answer for problems like these, I'll usually just redo the entire problem and see if I get the same answer. All right, next one. This looks a little more complicated, but it actually only has one fraction. So we can work with what we have. We don't even have to worry about an LCD. Let's just solve the equation. I just want to get all of my x's on one side of the equal sign and all of my numbers on the other side. So let's just first get rid of the 1. And in order to do that, let's subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. We're left with 2x plus 6 over 5 equals 6. Now let's just get rid of the fraction. Since 2x plus 6 is being divided by 5, let's do the opposite and multiply by 5. Let's do it to both sides. On the left, the 5s cancel out, so we're just left with 2x plus 6. And on the right, we have 6 times 5, which is 30. It's looking a little bit more simplified. We still want to isolate x and get all of our x's on one side and all of the numbers on the other. So in order to get rid of the plus 6, let's do the opposite and subtract 6 from both sides. We'll get that 2x equals 24. Finally, in order to get rid of the 2, since it's 2 times x, let's do the opposite and divide by 2. We'll get our final answer, which is x minus 12. When you plug it in, you'll get that 7 equals 7, which is true, so you know you have the right answer. Here we have an equation with two fractions, so it's worthwhile to find the LCD. When we look at the denominators 2 and 6, 6 is actually a multiple of 2, so our LCD is actually 6. For step number 2, let's multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. On the left side, we need to distribute 6 times x minus 1 over 2. The 6 and the 2 reduce to just 3. And let's bring down the x minus 1. Don't forget the parentheses. Let's distribute one more time. 6 times negative x plus 3 divided by 6. The 6s cancel out, but we need to bring down the x plus 3. And again, don't forget the parentheses. On the right side, we have 4 times 6, which equals 24. Now we can move on to step number 3, which is just to solve the equation. On the left, we still have to distribute two more times to get rid of the parentheses. We have 3x minus 3 for the first expression. And we need to distribute that negative 1 in that second expression. We're left with negative x minus 3. 3. Let's bring down the 24. We can simplify the left side even further. Combining the x's, we have 3x minus x, which is 2x. And combining the numbers, we have negative 3 minus 3, which equals negative 6. And let's just keep bringing down the 24. Our goal is still to isolate x, so in order to get rid of the negative 6, we need to do the opposite and add 6. Let's bring down the 2x. 
negative six plus six cancels out and 24 plus six equals 30. In order to get rid of the two times X, let's do the opposite and divide by two. Now we're left with X equals 15. When we plug in our answer, we get that four equals four, which is true. So we know we have the right answer. Last one, let's first find the LCD. I don't see any super obvious multiples of five and three, so I'm just going to multiply. And we get that the LCD is 15. For step number two, let's multiply both sides of the equation by 15. For the left side, the 15 and the five simplified to just three. Let's bring down 3x plus 4, always remember the parentheses. And on the right side, we have to distribute. So that's 2x over 3 times 15. And distributing again, 15 times 1 equals 15. Now for step number 3, let's just solve the equation. So on the left, let's distribute again. 3 times 3x equals 9x and three times four equals 12. On the right side, I actually should have just gotten rid of the fraction earlier, but the 15 and the three cancel out to just a five. Two X times five equals 10 X. And let's just bring down the 15. Here, let's continue to try to get all of our X's on one side and all of our numbers on the other. In order to get rid of the positive 9x, let's do the opposite and subtract 9x. We're left with 12 equals x plus 15. I want to get rid of the positive 15, so let's do the opposite and subtract 15. Now we're left with negative 3 equals x. To check your work, you can either plug back in the answer or just do the problem over again to see if you get the same answer. All right, you made it through. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if this helped clear up linear equations with fractions. Let me know which topics you want me to cover next and see you in the next video.